Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Gaming Development and welcome back to part 2 of our tab bar application series, our final part as well. Uh, last part we added a third uh, view in here in our view controller, linked it up and got it to display custom text for our hello. Uh, this part we're going to add our own images to change these simple circles and squares that are standard and change the colour from blue as you know it can look a little bit boring and uh, it doesn't suit every design of every application. Okay then, so if I just make this a little bit smaller, I already have on my desktop um, three images that we're going to be using. I have the non-retina and retina versions, as you can see, it's got the uh, file extension of at symbol 2x. So if you just highlight all of them, if you want to learn how to create retina images, check out our retina image tutorial. So highlight them, drag and drop into our supporting folders there, and make sure you copy to items to destinations group folder, and click finish. Uh, once you've done that then, uh, go to our main storyboard and we have to do it individually on each of our views. So our first view here, make sure you click on tab bar image there. Go to the identities inspector here, the attributes inspector, sorry. And when we got image here, we simply change that to tab 1. And our tab 1 is that little, nice little love heart. And you can see it's displaying now our love heart. And now I can change that title of it to say love. There we go. And now if I scroll down to our second view, uh, now this one should be our tab2.png, our little paw print. So let's change the text to that to pause. Just so you can see the kind of um, customization you're able to do with it. And finally our third one, make sure you click on tab bar item on it and change that to, oh, that's not the right one. There we go. Change that to our kind of tab3. And that is, I have no idea what that is, but it kind of looks like a spade in a sense, or a, a, a it's more of a club really, isn't it? Like in the pack of cards. So I'll simply put club, I think it's a club, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not 100%. So now if we go to build and run and see our custom images that we've added, we kind of display in the application. So there you go then, we can see our custom images that we've added onto our tabs, allowing us to customize the tabs even more. So let's just say for example, our love tab was more for displaying videos. We can have a nice video icon. Our tab view could be like a contact form. And you can have like an envelope or message kind of icon. And say like in the third tab displays uh, our like Twitter feed. So you can have like the Twitter icon there. It's entirely up to you what you're displaying. You can kind of take that extra step and customizing it to your own needs. Now we're going to change the color of it and I'll show you all the options you can do that. And to do that you need to go off to our tab bar um, controller, select tab bar at the top here. From here you've got a number of options which you can select and change. You've got such as the image tint, uh, the style of the tab bar, if you want it transparent or not, you can see it gets dark there. The bar tint, you got the background color, even the tint on the images itself. You got so much options you can choose. And just to give you a, a quick example, such as let's try the bar tint. Let's select this one. Take off transparency. See it goes red there. So when we build and run, you can see you got the red bar at the bottom now. So that's simply how you you know customize the tab bar to your likings. You can change. You got the blue there on the buttons. Just change the blue there. Select it any color you like and have the tab images and the tab text and just to simply design it how you would like and how it fits into your own application. So that's simply how you customize and add images to your tab bar application. I hope you enjoyed this two-part series. It's been a short one, but it's been very useful, and you can take this knowledge and create some amazing apps with it. So again, I hope you're helping your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you like and favorite. Leave us a comment or a message if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself, or if you just want to leave us any feedback. Uh, make sure you can check out all our apps, which are currently on the App Store by simply searching Geeky Lemon. Uh, most importantly, if you haven't, uh, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. First, we're, ooh, there we go. Let's head back to the mine area. Oh, it's getting dark as well. Let me sleep so it's, it is full daylight. Bye-bye.